Are you unsure about the term water softener regenerating? What does that mean regenerating in the context of a water softener? What actually regenerates? How do you know if your water softener is regenerating correctly? Well, I'm gonna explain it to you and I'm gonna explain it to you right now. Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy. I simplify water filtration to help you conquer crappy water. And uh, so water software regenerating is, is a common term. Often the short term of that is regen, but what does it actually mean? Well, what it means is regenerating the beads inside. So the beads inside the tank look like honeycomb cereal, but are a whole lot smaller and they're very fine beads. And what happens is as the water passes through the water softener, it's an ion exchange process. So it's exchanging um, a sodium ion for a calcium magnesium ion. Those are the ions that make up hard water. And as it's passing through that ion exchange takes place. But at some point, those ions need to be replaced. The sodium ions need to be replaced on the media. And that's what that refer term actually refers to is the regeneration of that media. So when does it happen? How does it happen, etc.? Well, it really depends on uh, what kind of a water softener you have. Basically, there's two kinds. There's what's called a time clock water softener and a metered water softener. Most wa modern water softeners are metered water softeners. In other words, they measure how much water you use and then they regenerate the water softener based on your usage. A time clock water softener is just how it sounds, a time clock. So after a series of days that are calculated by either a water treatment specialist like myself or a plumber or someone like that, it regenerates based on, the, on your usage, how hard your water is, etc. Might be every three days, every five days or some time frame like that. Another uh, important uh, consideration about uh, regeneration is when it goes through the regeneration cycle, it depends, the cycles depend on what type of a water softener, if it's a pre-fill water softener or a post-fill water softener. So a pre-fill water softener, um, when it starts its regeneration cycle, it puts water in the brine tank with the salt to absorb that salt to be used to clean or to regenerate the media inside uh, the media tank. A post-fill water softener is uh, the kind of water softener where the last cycle is where water is put in with the salt so it can start absorbing the salt and it uh, goes through the, the, the cleaning cycle. Generally speaking, the water softeners that are sold by big box stores are pre-fill water softeners and the water softeners, the higher end water softeners, the longer lasting ones, etc., cetera, that are, that are sold by people like myself are uh, post-fill water softeners. So how can you tell which one's yours? If you look in where the salt is, and uh, if you go right down to the bottom of the tank, if you see no water whatsoever in there, then it's a pre-fill water softener. If you see some water in there, anywhere from three inches up to half or three quarters full of water, that means it's a post-fill uh, water softener. So when your water softener goes through a regeneration cycle, the first stage or the first part of the cycle, again, depends on if it's pre-fill or post-fill. So if it's a pre-fill, the first stage is it's gonna put water inside here to start absorbing the salt. If it's a post-fill water softener, that's already happened. So it doesn't need to do that. So that's the first stage. And then with a pre-fill water softener, it's gonna pause for a period of time because this, the water needs time to absorb the salt so it can go through its process. The water and the salt makes brine, sucks that brine out of there, runs it over those beads. And what that does, it releases the calcium magnesium so it can be flushed to drain, but much more importantly, it regenerates that media. This is the stage where it actually regenerates the media with those sodium ions so it can continue to, um, to soften water. Then what it does, it backwashes or rinses. Again, depends on the cycle between the, the, the different models of water softener, but it, it does that to get rid of all that brine that's, that it was used inside here to regenerate the media. Rinses it, gets rid of it. And then if it's a pre-fill water softener, that's it. If it's a post-fill water softener, it puts the right amount of water in with the uh, salt to absorb the salt so it's ready to go for the next cycle. Click here to continue on with my next video on water softeners and I'll see you there.